Hello, hello, I'm Lizzie, this is Lizzie Reads, and Merry Christmas. Welcome to Vlogmas AJ. I don't know, don't know what day. I'll let you know in the little bit at the beginning. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been a bit shit with Vlogmas, but I'm, hopefully, if you're seeing this, this will be like four videos in a row. So that would be wicked. Set my strawberry mango key down. And today, I'm going to talk about rereading. It's a rereading catch up because earlier in the year I did a video about rereading and um, saying how much I love it, which I still do, nothing's changed. And I mentioned books I want to reread in that video. And I'm going to talk about books I've reread, books I haven't reread from that list, and books I want to add to that list. I know, crazy. But. I'm gonna get on with the video. Let's start with the books I have reread, and of course, a book I'm always rereading. I'm always in the middle of this series. That is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Harry Potter in general. Come, oh, haven't finished this year's reread in time for Christmas, which is kind of upsetting, but really upsetting for me actually, because normally I've reread the book by now, and then I'll start again at Christmas. <laughs> But um, I'm currently on the Half Blood Prince, so I might try and reread that within the next nine days because it's Sunday now. But it'll probably be like Wednesday when you see this, maybe. Uh, and then maybe try and reread Deathly Hallows, but that'll just make me cry at Christmas. But I always read Harry Potter, like any part of Harry Potter, ideally Christmas chapters of Harry Potter on Christmas Day, like always, always, always. So even if I'm not where I want to be in the Christmas, in the Harry Potter series, I will crack this bad boy out, read the Christmas chapters, because I don't care. I love it. I just love Harry Potter and it's intrinsically Christmassy to me. So I just want to watch Harry Potter right now. Am I watching better tonight? Maybe, maybe I should watch a Christmas film instead. But Harry Potter is always a Christmas film. Remember that. Christmas film, winter film, Easter film, all the time. But yeah, I just really love Harry Potter, so... Mm, yeah, maybe I'll watch that. Oh, and the big telly I've got. I do telly my room and it's big. It's not new, it's my parents' old telly, because they've got new telly. But it's massive. Much bigger than my old telly. So that'd be good. Maybe I'll just watch something like... Something like a Christmas prince or something. irrelevant also but yeah i've reread that so far this year that's where i'm at i feel really upset that this has got a torn bit on it but i, sh I won't go into that i've gone into it before next i wanted to reread a series of unfortunate events at the bad beginning by lemony snicket because i read this as a child and it made me cry i thought it was really upsetting i know lemony snicket does warn you and i was not enjoying it at the time and then i reread it as the adult and as the adult an adult and I'm now on like book six oh it's probably like five books book five or six and actually I need to read some more of that this Christmas I think because it's quite a short book and I'm really into reading this I'm really into reading this Christmas I'm always into reading but yeah and I much enjoyed it the second time round because I'm an adult and now I just read sad things all the time <laughs> uh one thing I did want to reread was uh Pat Barker's Regeneration and I have since read that. Um, this is um, a book about a war hospital called Craig Lockhart. And it's First World War. Uh, it's set during the war. Yeah, it's set during the war. Yeah, 1917. During the war. And basically the army psychiatrist is treating people for um, PTSD and other sorts of things they didn't really understand at the time. And it's got some fictionalised versions of famous poets in there. For example, Wilfred Owen, Seafried Sassine, and someone else. Graves, Robert Graves. I feel like he's famous as well. And I really enjoyed this reading this for school uh, when I was probably about 16. And I really enjoyed the reread of it this year. And I think, I mean, I've had um, the second Pat Barker novel, The Eye and the Door, the second in this series, on my to be read pile for quite some time so I might try and get to that in January 
like very importantly. But we'll see. It's been a moisty girl for a long time. So sorry about that. I was unexpectedly called for dinner. Um, and it's getting quite dark now. I best get on with my filming so the quality's dropped a little bit. So I'm really, really sorry. But next on my, I want to, on my old reread list, but I have actually read, reread. That is The Princess of Diaries by Meg Cabot. Now, I love The Princess Diaries and I went through a moment with this at the beginning of the year. I enjoyed it so, 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 so much. I started rereading it like October last year, bought the whole series. Obsessed, absolutely obsessed. Can't tell you how much this series takes me back. It's just about um, a teenage girl who finds out her dad's a prince. Her grandma's the queen of Genovia and her dad's a prince and she's going to be a princess. She doesn't live with her dad and like, oh my god, you should love it. It's the best. It's written in diary format. And she's just the craziest person. And she can be a bitch. She's a teenager. She's a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> I just love it. I just think it's great. It's really fun. I kind of want to reread it again, but I feel like it's a bit soon. I feel like it's too soon. So, still on my to be read pile, the to be reread pile are a few, quite a few books. And the first one of these is The Time Traveller's Wife. Now, I love The Time Traveller's Wife. I really love it. But, it's been a long time and I'm really concerned that it's not going to be the same for me anymore. And it's just about um, a woman who's married to a time traveller and it's about their whole, it spans their whole lives and he doesn't control his time travel he just goes and it's amazing and so sweet and sad and emotional and that this was one of the books that got me into one of the very first adult books i think i ever read speaking of another very first adult book i've ever read that is the pact by jodie pico jodie pico is brilliant she's such a brilliant writer and i haven't read anything by her in a long time and i really want to reread this but i want to read something new of hers before i go back and reread because i haven't read anything of hers since small great things came out which was amazing by the way absolutely amazing she just gets better and better i think the more she becomes aware of social justice issues she's just she's fucking in there i swear and i need to read her most recent one actually so but I kind of want to read what I've got on my shelves because I know I'm going to like it all. Like it all. That's so bizarre. But, yeah, so this is about a young boy who wakes up in hospital and his girlfriend's dead. And he says that they were part of a joint suicide pact. And she died and he fainted when she died. She killed herself and he fainted when she died. So, basically follows the very Jody, the Jodie pattern but this was remarkable absolutely remarkable and I'm worried that that's going to be taken away if I reread it because I know that doesn't normally happen with rereads for me but this was something else I was thinking about I think about this all the time it's one of my favorite books of all time so we'll see hopefully I'll get that in 2019 and I'm not sure if this was on my list i made these piles a few months ago of like books that i had read ones that i hadn't read on the list and ones i wanted to add to the list so i, I this one got a bit confused but that was anne of green gables by ellen montgomery and montgomery, montgomery and this is a canadian novel about a young girl called anne who is an orphan and is she an orphan or is she just in a been a up for adoption i think she must be an orphan um, and she goes to live with um, Matthew and Marilla Cuthbert and she's just the craziest child. She's just the craziest ginger-haired, imaginative, wonderful child. And I loved this book so much as a child. I read quite a few of them. I don't think I made it to the end. I think I might try and make it to the end. We shall see. We shall see. Next, a um, sci-fi series. Oh, what kind of sci-fi is this? The really technical sci-fi. 
what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Sci-fi series, which is the Annihilation series by Jeff Vandermeer. I read this. I bought this because I thought it sounded really interesting. I bought the whole series, and it went completely over my head, like absolutely over my head. I read the whole series because at the time I didn't know about giving up books. I just didn't do that, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it because I didn't understand it. It was a bit too literary, literary for me at the time. I think. Um, it was a bit much, I just didn't enjoy it, but I really, really wanted to. So I'm going to give the first book a go, and again, I can't really remember any of the plot. I don't think I'll remember it as I read again. So this is like a new read, but I've actually already read it. It's quite interesting. That's one that like I want to add to my list. And another one I really want to add to my list is Mallory Blackman's Noughts and Crosses. And um, I've also got Knife Edge. And basically this whole thing, and um, loads of Marilyn Marilyn. Mallory, I can't speak today, Blackman books that I really, really want to reread because I just thought they're so lovely and lovely, they're so lovely, they're not lovely, they're really interesting and powerful and wonderful and they are lovely but in a non-lovely kind of way. Um, do I really want to get to that? I think I might be able to get to it um, next year. But it sort of flipped the roles of like superior and inferiority of black and white people and yeah it's really interesting really really interesting and it was a first 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 book that ever made me think in this way because i read it when i was fairly young i was quite a young teenager when i read this and it really made me think about right and wrong and race relations in a completely different way so yeah that's another book that I want to reread, and that's my long rereading list. And I do love a reread, sorry. Um, I love rereading, and I think it's a really great thing to do. So, if you like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe, whatever you fancy doing. Just chat with me, I'm always here for a chat. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.